Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My beloved one today is 17th day of April, being Wednesday, and Easter with three. I read this will be coming from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 8, verse 1 to 8. I read this to sound come from Psalm 66, verse 1. A gospel message will come from John Gospel, chapter 6, verse 35 to 40. The theme of our message today is, is the power in believing the Son of God. The power in believing the Son of God. Anytime you believe the Son of God, there's a lot of power that accompanies you. And when you believe him, you leave him out. A lot of power will accompany you. And I want to in the gospel message. We saw Jesus telling the crowd, I'm the bread of life that came down from heaven. Anyone who comes to me will never be hungry again. And anyone who believes in me will not thirst again. Yes, that's the power when you believe in him. And he who believes in me shall never thirst. But I say to you, that you have seen me, and yet you did not believe. All that the Father gives me will come to me. Yes, all the Father that gives me will come to me. The book will come to me is the book given to me by my Father, and all he gave me will come to me. Yes. And I will not cast them out. For I have come down from heaven not to do my own will, but the will of the one who sent me. And the will of the one who sent me is that all who come to me I will not cast out, but raise them up on the last day. That's the will of the one who sent me. For this is the will of my Father. That everyone who sees the Son of Man and believes in him shall have eternal life. And I will raise him up on the last day. You see, the, if you see and believe, you will have eternal life. You will be raised up on the last day. That's the will of the Father. When you Believe in the word of God. That's doing the will of the Father. And these powers will accompany you. You'll be raised up in the last day. You'll have eternal life. Yes. And you will come to Jesus. Nothing will separate you from him. When you believe in him. That's the power in believing in him. Now I just say the sheep that is mine. Listen to my voice. Don't listen to any other. He follows me. doesn't follow any other one. John chapter 10, verse 4 and 27. And no person can take the, them away from me because the Father who gave me is stronger than every other one. See 27 to 29. John chapter 10. That's the power in believing the word of God. And now why today we suffer that the power of believing in the word of God. <clears throat> we saw today that Stephen, a great, after killing Stephen, for believing in the word of God, a great persecution arose against the church in Jerusalem. Yes, they were all scattered throughout the region of Judea and Samaria, except the apostles who remained in Jerusalem. Yes, devout men buried Stephen with a great lamentation. Yes, that's why it's our responsibility to bury Christians in the right way. They buried them with great lamentation. But so led west the church. Yes, Lord Paul led down the west the church. Entering house to house, dragging men out and committing them to prison. Now those who scattered all went to different cities, preaching the word. Yes, another advantage. They scattered and the word scattered equally, preaching the word in different places. Philip, for example, went to the city of Samaria and proclaim to them the Christ. And the multitude, the multitude with one accord, give heed to what he said, or was said by him. When they have heard and seen the work he does, because when he preached, people with evil spirit, who were possessed, the evil spirit came out of them crying. And when we were paralyzed and learned, we were all healed. So the greater power in healing, the deeper power in evangelization is living out the world. They have seen the work, the life of Stephen, seeing what he had done. That's why they all 
in unison accepted what he was saying. Now, why Vajinu Nusiandi by policy said that action speaks rather than voice. People will listen to you for the way you live, not because of what you are saying. No. So people will listen to Stephen because of what he has done, what he has lived out. You can see Then you can see now the power in believing the word of God. You can see the power in believing the word of God. You can see that power radiate in the apostles. You can see the power radiate in the people. They were healed. The ones were cast out. And people hit to the word. When you believe in the word of God, they accept God and live for God alone. That's compassion. The power in the word of God, believing the word of God. You can see it are manifest with the apostles. Scattered all over the place, the persecution turned out to be greater evangelization to the different nations where they have not gone before. And yet the result required. The power in believing the word of God, the power of the war can never overtake you. Remember the promise made to Peter. In Matthew 16, 13 to 19, that the gate of hell cannot prevail against this church. You can see the power of the persecution turn out to the, for the glory of God and for more conversion of others. The power in believing in the word of God. That's what we're talking about. And that's why the psalmist who understood it today, this year, look at what he said. I cry out with joy to God. Oh, cry out with joy to God all the earth. Cry out with joy to God all the earth. When you have accepted the word of God, you have mentioned that the cry out with joy to the, all the members of the earth. Have you seen the wonders? Believing the word of God can do in among us. They have seen it manifest in Philip. They have seen it manifest in the Son of God, who sent bread from heaven. And anyone who believes in me will have eternal life. May God help us understand today and the power in believing in the word of God in us as eternal life. Give us the grace to proclaim the word in season out of season. Give us the power to perform miracles and other things. And give us the power of being raised up on the last day. We ask through Christ our Lord, the Lord be with you. May the blessings of Almighty God be upon all of us and the power of believing in God work in all of us. And of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you all.